Hi everyone, this is oral surgeon and dentist Joe Banyard. This is five month old Dexter's story. He's a bundle of excitement and energy and greatly loved by his family, who I must thank very much for allowing me to use his story to help others. In the video, Base Narrow Canine in a three month old puppy, we see the earlier stage of this problem. Now please remember that every patient is different and there are several different presentations of this condition and treatment is decided case by case. So at first Dexter's family didn't notice that there was a problem and the breeder and her vet hadn't mentioned that there was a problem. So this could be that maybe they didn't know about this condition or they didn't recognize it. But Dexter's vet did notice and told the owners to watch and see if it would correct itself when the adult teeth came in. Now, what the owners told me is that he was a picky eater and he spat out dog biscuits. And they just thought it was his personality, which is a very easy mistake. When they took him in to be neutered, their veterinarian found this. The right side was fine. As you can see, the lower canine tooth fit in the gap between the upper right canine tooth and the third incisor tooth in front. The left lower canine tooth was biting the gum opposite it. This is what the gum looked like. There was a hole in the gums, and when the vet showed his family, they were quite upset and really worried about his feelings of pain. Dexter's veterinarian recommended referral for treatment by a veterinary dental specialist and to keep it clean. The owners managed to find a specialist and were committed to having him treated immediately. After an eight hour drive and physical and awake oral examination, it was decided to use an inclined plane to correct the painful bite. This image of the roof of Dexter's mouth is taken during treatment, but it shows the size of the hole. One of the concerns of these holes is that they can get deeper and deeper as the lower canine tooth erupts and can make a hole through the palate and into the nasal cavity, causing sneezing and discomfort. Here we see the right, middle and left sides of the acrylic inclined plane. And here you can see the way the grooves guide the lower canine teeth into the correct positions. In part two of this series we will find out what Dexter thinks of all this. Thank you for watching. Please subscribe, like and share. Bye.